Hey everyone, Doug here with Doug Johnson Productions in Orem, Utah. Uh, today I wanted to bring you a short video talking about the Terranex Mini Smart Panel. So this is a product that Blackmagic Design offers as an optional add-on for their Terranex, Terranex Mini products. It also works on their MultiView 4 as well as the web presenter that they have. Uh, so as, as you can see here, the front panel on, on these devices is normally pretty, pretty plain. Uh, there are some dip switches behind a little cover here, but uh, in terms of the ability to configure the device, that you're really limited, and there's a lot of options that you can't configure with it with its dip switches. And so at that point, you have to either go into their configuration software uh, connected over over either USB or or your network. Uh, so sometimes that's a little bit awkward, and sometimes it's also nice to be able to see the video that is being run through your converter. And so that's where the Terranex Mini Smart Panel comes into play. So I'll do a bit of an unboxing here, but I actually picked this thing up used, and so this is not exactly how they come from the factory. Um, so just kind of open open this thing right up, and so fairly small box, not much to it. Uh, these things sell for, I believe it's eighty-five dollars currently. So I'll open this guy, pull it out of the yeah, anesthetic. This is, this is not the factory anesthetic bag, I don't believe. Okay, take those aside. So, so there it is. So, oops, upside down. There we go. So, you have a knob, screen, uh, several buttons for controlling, and then there is there is still a little rubber cap for access to the USB port, and that's used uh, for configuration as well as for uh, upgrading firmware and so forth. So, all right, so. Uh, actually, putting this on this unit is fairly straightforward. Um, so, I've currently got this thing receiving video. You can tell by the green light that it's receiving video. So, if I disconnect the video, that will actually go white. And let you know that the unit is on, but it's not receiving video. And I'm going to unplug it. You don't want to. You don't want to make this swap while the unit is plugged plugged in. So, it's actually fairly straightforward to do this. So, there are four screws on 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 each side. So, four on that side, and four on this side. So let's go ahead and remove those and do this. This is backwards from my perspective, so I can't actually technically see what I'm doing. Remove that one. This is a little awkward from this angle, but we'll get through it. Okay, there's a second screw. I'll come over here to this other side. And a third. Should I make me a whistle with a tune while I'm doing this? Actually, yeah. I'm terrible at whistling, so that wouldn't be a good idea. Okay, so we've almost got the fourth screw out here. So and with that, we're halfway through the, the procedure. So remove that fourth screw. With that, the, the front panel actually just pulls right off. And then we can take the new panel and it just snaps right into place. So at that point you reinstall the screws. A little easier to do when I can see what I'm doing here. So there are two. And we'll do the last two. So I have I have these units on most of my converter products. I did at one point have them on my uh, at least one of my um, MultiView 4 products, but uh, I've since pulled that off because uh, unlike the converter products, when used on the MultiView, uh, it does not display video sources. You just do still have menus, and you can see the layout, but uh, but it doesn't actually let you see the video that's being processed, and that seemed seemed a little well not useful, and so I ended up pulling pulling those off. Okay, so there you go. You can see that the the video that's being run through the unit appears 
there on the screen. We've also got uh, a knob that we can use for configuration, and then some buttons for for making the, so making those changes. Now, it's kind of wade through. It's going to be a little bit blown out here in the video. Uh, the menu button it gets you into the menus, and then the uh, one and two are your up and down. So if we want to go into the video menu, press set, and then uh, set here. So yeah, probably can't make that on video, but that, that is actually changing those options there. All right, so then go back down to ah, there we go. So there's there's those, and then we'll go up one level and go down. This is, this is awkward backwards. Uh, so we can choose uh, audio output settings. Right now, for example, right now it's at outputting time code, but if we want to change that, whoops. So set, output, and then there we go, AES-EBU, and then analog, and then set to exit out of there. So yeah, so you can you can actually do a quite a bit of configuration. Like one of the more uh, useful features here is being able to set the network IP address, because uh, Otherwise, you do have to connect a computer in order to make that change. So uh, you can also use the the wheel here to navigate through those menus as well. So uh, all in all, um, pretty simple, basic product, but also very useful. Um, being able to well, for, see the video, see the time code on most devices, and then be navigate the menus. Uh, there's also audio level meters there, obviously, as well. Uh, so uh, pretty useful product. Uh, it's like kind of unfortunate that they're not included by default on these converters, since these converters are, do run about 500 bucks a pop. Uh, it'd be nice to have the screen, screen and, and buttons included, but it, alas, at least it's an option. At least it's an add-on option that we can, we can buy for it. So if you guys have questions, uh, suggestions, smart remarks, or otherwise, be sure and leave those down in the comment section below. If you, have, uh, if you want to contact me directly, you can do it through my website at djprod.biz. You can click on the contact us link at the bottom or just go to djp.li slash contact. Uh, if you want to help contribute to reviews such as this on the channel, you can uh, sign up as a patron with Patreon. I'll link to that here. And uh, all that money goes towards reviewing products. It does not go into my pockets or into uh, the funds of, the, of my company. So um, anyway, uh, do you guys, thank you guys for watching and hope you have a great day.